They're representing the individual countries, declaring commitment to strengthening relations with Zambia. President Hagainde Hijlema was at hand to receive credentials from the new diplomats. President Hijlema wants relations to be enhanced and materialize into economic gains for Zambia and the countries the diplomats represent. We would like your stay here, your work here, to focus on improving, increasing our economic cooperation projects, attracting investors. Because it is this side of the equation that will allow us to support the other issues we discussed already. If our economies are not functional, they're not growing, they're not creating jobs, they're not creating business opportunities, mutually, we are incapable of supporting the other areas including social support for our people. So we want to make that clear and core cool earlier on as you get on with the tour of duty. He also touched on the need for peace, security, and stability to be maintained in the world. As worthy partners to work with you, your excellencies, your government and peoples, to foster peace, security, stability in our global community. Because we know where there's instability anywhere, it does affect all of us. We know that from the Russia-Ukraine war. We know the impact of that to all of us. Now, what's going on in Gaza-Israel situation, we know. Near home, we know what is happening and its impact of conflict in Eastern Congo. Georgia's new ambassador to Zambia stressed the need for both countries to forge stronger relations and enhance peace, while Burundi's ambassador to Zambia called for more trade and investment. Many opportunities will be extended in order to strengthen many links established between business people in Zambia, opening the door to greater bilateral trade investment between our two countries. My government is confident that these opportunities shall be realized only by peaceful means, and this dictates us to pursue the policy which consolidates democratic principles and values and which contributes to peace and global prosperity. Other diplomats that presented their letters of credence are from Korea, Oman, Belgium, Jamaica, Cyprus, and Slovak. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News, Lusaka.